Pixies go to fixie schools and study to be masters. There's so much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There is a one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The drum. Now, let's turn it on. It's buzzing. You hear it? I would love to. But the only thing I can hear is Nolik's banging. Nolik, what are you doing? I'm rehearsing my solo. Nolik's the drummer in our rock band. Didn't you know that? Why don't you go and rehearse somewhere else, if you wouldn't mind? Yeah, all right. I just can't work like this. Nolik, stop it, please. Oh, my head is just splitting. Professor Eugenius, will you come to the laboratory? There's something very strange in there. What? I'm hearing some kind of awful sound. You are? I think it's a ghost. Back from the dead. Don't you worry about ghosts, Lisa. I'll check what it is. Hmm, so it's you making the racket. What? I'm just rehearsing. Well, what is it? Uh, don't worry, it's just a piece of equipment rattling. You know what you should do? You should go and practice back at home, my young friend. It's not very hard to make a drum. One way to make it is to take an empty barrel and replace its bottom with a skin made of leather or plastic. If the skin is stretched tightly, the sound can get very bright and loud. Really big drums are usually played with percussion mallets or beaters, while smaller drums can be played with sticks or with bare hands. Instruments that make sounds by being shaken, scraped, or beaten are all called percussion instruments. There are lots of different percussion instruments, like the small hand drums that are called bongos, big shakers with handles called maracas, cymbals made out of metal. Now those really make a lot of noise. And there's tambourines, ratchets, and even spoons. That's right! People can make music using spoons as a percussion instrument. Tom Thomas, do you think I could practice my drumming here? Yeah. Go ahead. I've just got some homework to do. I can do that, and better than you can, too. And what if I play like this, huh? Then I'll go like that, or like that. Can you hear that? It stopped buzzing. It did. Hey, 
everybody, it's Nolik. Yo, what's up? So, our noisy ghost is back. I thought you were practicing at home now. Tom Thomas is drumming there. I had to run away. Well, our excursion is over. And now I would just be so happy to listen to your rock group. And so what? I can turn it on without it. And my favorite cartoon is just about to start. Forget about the cartoons, will ya? Nolik is missing! I'm afraid Nolik hid inside of the remote. And Chusaka took it. Oh no, Nolik's in big time trouble. Tom Thomas, there must be something you can do! Chusaka, Chusaka, come here. Where is that dog hiding? I'm going to go look in the other rooms. Simka! Tom Thomas! Here I am! I'm over here! <sighs> For now, I'll wait here. Shusaka's not out there. Where are you? Hey, Simka! I ran to get a pack a mat What are you going to do with it? I'm going to search for the infrared ray that comes out of the remote. That's so great! But what is it? I'll explain it to you. Inside of most remote controls, there's a special type of light bulb called a light-emitting diode, or LED for short. When we press a button, the LED sends an invisible infrared ray. And in the TV, there is a receiver for these invisible rays. The TV understands the command that comes from the remote control and carries it out, like changing the channel or the volume. If the rays are invisible, then how is it possible to see them? In the pack a mat I've got these special goggles that can help me. And now what? Yell to Nolik. Get him to close the contact on any one of the buttons. Nolik! You gotta push one of the buttons down on the remote! A button? But how am I gonna do that? Wait, one second! Chusaka Chusaka with a brain full of rush! Nothing for you here. But here's something. There he is. He's over there. Chusaka, come here. Do you want a hot dog? So you want to play tough. All right, then. Look 
looking out for the remote's race. It's just a shame it's impossible for me to see him. What are you saying? You can! If you want to see infrared rays, all you have to do is look through a digital camera. Try it for yourself. Turn on the camera on a mobile telephone. Now go ahead and press any button on the remote control and point the camera toward the front of it. You'll see a bright dot on the screen of the camera. That's the light emitting diode working. It's letting off a special light that can't be seen by the naked eye. It's also possible to point the remote control at a mirror. And then through the camera, you can see how the light emitting diode turns itself on. So what that means is that invisible rays bounce off of a mirror in the same way that regular light does. So you can control the TV by bouncing the light from a remote control off of a mirror. You don't believe me? Then go ahead and try it yourself. By the way, if your toys weren't all stuffed under the bed, we would have found the remote without the goggles. Don't worry about it. When the cartoons are over, I'll put them away. So, you done watching? Time to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out.